Hey guys, it's Jean-Claude, and happy Halloween. I doubt this will be up by then. I expect it to go up tomorrow. Oh, it's because I don't need to pull these back just yet. All right, we are going to be opening up two decks here for patrons. So, let's get out our fancy app here. Going to start off with the two and up on the patrons. And good luck to you guys. Hopefully you get a... Oh, no, no, we can't count if it doesn't get a good spin. There we go. This one is official. And the winner of the first deck, the one on the left, is going to be... Wow, that's really close. Robe F. Or maybe it's Roby F. All right. Let's see what your deck has right here. I guess we'll throw that one up here. And for those of you unfamiliar with how we do this, when we open up the two decks, we just kind of go through it. We really don't talk too much about strategy unless there's something that just really stands out. Purple Archon, everyone's favorite. Soriana is the first house, second house is Shadows, and the third house is Dis, the loudly novel harbinger of Talos Place. And that's a nice symmetrical Archon, very cool, love the lightning in the background. And while I get this open, I just want to take a moment to thank every one of you guys on Patreon. You guys really help keep this channel afloat. I Honestly, I could not do it without you guys. Uh, you've helped me upgrade the audio, camera-related things, a new laptop so I can actually handle editing the videos. I mean, my old computer could not do it. So really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Okay, let's slide that out of the way. All right. And your first house is Shadows. It's Splinter with a Capture Pip. One power enhanced, six damage pips. Damage pips can make a difference. It's very nice that this has six on it. I do like that more than the, like the Mutant Cut Purse that has three. Wait a minute, we're not supposed to be talking about this. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have two splinters in here. This one has two damage pips. And so that's already 12 enhancements. That's insane to think about. Perplexing Sophistry, Amber W Plate. If you have more Amber than your opponent, they discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card. Borrow, Amber W Plate. Take control of an enemy artifact. While it is under your control, it belongs to House Shadows. Vandalize, Amber Pip, Damage Pip. Look at the top three cards your opponent's deck. Discard one and put the others back in any order. Tempting Offer, Amber Pip, Enhance the Capture Pip. Return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. If you do, your opponent gains an Amber. Seeker Needle, Artifact with the Capture Pip. Action, deal one damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, gain an Amber. Rad Penny, one power. Play, steal an Amber, destroyed. Shuffle Rad Penny into your deck. Great with that. Seeker Needle. Oh, another Rad Penny, this one with a Capture Pip. Mug, Amber Pip, Damage Pip. Move one Amber from a creature to your pool. Deal two damage to that creature. Another Mug, interesting. A third Mug, wow. Now we're on to the Sorions. Gladiodontis, 15 power, enters play stunned, only deals 5 damage when fighting, fight reap if this is the first time it has been used this turn, ready and enrage it. Exile, Amber Heavy Plate with a damage pip, give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. Just realized we're going to say, with a damage pip, a lot in this deck. Thero Centurion, with a damage pip, 6 power, play fight, capture an Amber. I think I forgot to say the one armor. Spoils of battle, Amber Heavy Plate with a damage pip. A friendly creature captures an amber. Each creature with amber on it captures an amber from its opponent. Praefectus Ludo, 5 power. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed movie chamber from this creature to the common supply. Another Praefectus Ludo. Gale Atops, damage pip. 12 power, only deals 4 damage when fighting. A regular one without a damage pip. Defense Initiative with a damage pip. That's going to be the theme of this video. Ward a creature, you may exalt that creature. If you exalt it, ward each of its neighbors. Console Prime is 3 power, enhance the capture pip, reap, move 1 amber from a creature to another creature. Chant the Hubris, amber and you play it, move 1 amber from a creature to another creature. Axiom of Grisk, ward a creature, destroy each creature with no amber on it, gain 2 chains. Now we're on to House Dis, Umbra Fiend, 2 power elusive, destroyed, steal 1 amber. Etten's Jar, oh, hello, artifact, play, name a card until Etten's Jar leaves play, cards with that name cannot be played, this is actually a really insane card. Soul Fiddle, it's an artifact, action enrage a creature. Obsidian Forge, it's an artifact, amber and heavy plate, action destroy any number of friendly creatures, you may forge a key at plus 6 current cost, reduced by 1 for each creature destroyed this way. If you forge a key this way, destroy Obsidian Forge. Histracog, 4 power, enhanced 3 damage pips, action destroy a damaged creature, just realize we haven't had the say enhanced by a damage pip for a bit. Oh, and there we go. Break key, amber and heavy plate, with a damage pip. If your opponent has more forged keys than you, unforge an opponent's key. If you unforge an opponent's key this way, your opponent gains 6 Amber. Waking Nightmare Amber Pip with a Damage Pip. Enhance the Capture Pip. Keys cost plus 1 Amber for each disc creature in play during your opponent's next turn. Stirring Grave, Amber Pip, Damage Pip. Archive a card from your discard pile. Implosion, Amber Pip, Damage Damage. Destroy a friendly creature and an enemy creature. 
Drekker for power. Damage dealt to Drekker's neighbors during fights is also dealt to Drekker. Reap, steal, and amber. Dominator bobble. Artifact. Damage. Action. Use a friendly creature. And the final card of this deck is Bonesaw 5 power. If a friendly creature is destroyed this turn, Bonesaw enters play ready. Wow. Lots of damage pips. Very, very cool looking. Now back to our magical wheel. Let me get it set up. Okay, this is going to be a drawing for the 5 and up. Good luck to everyone. Let's get a good spin. Nope, nope. Come on, baby. There we go. Official. And the winner of another deck right here is... Oh my lord, I cannot believe this. Jason Schreer, I feel like you've won two out of the last four months. Congratulations. Okay, well, this is going to be your deck. Color takes a moment to come back after we have that real bright screen right there on the camera. The lens itself needs a moment. Okay, well, you have a blue archon with logos in it, followed by Sanctum, and your third house is Shadows. John Lynn, Baron Pokey, Thompson. You know, honestly, I would think there was something wrong with this, but this is always changing. There's always different amounts of people on here, sometimes different names. I mean, I have a lot of long-term people, but that's just wild that this keeps popping up. Although I guess there is two of each name on here, so the wheel looks bigger than it really is, right? Okay, so let's see what your deck has. And I highly doubt you're thinking this, but if you do want to forgo the next one, Jason, let me know. I'm sure others would appreciate it. Obviously, that's a joke. Okay, so your deck starting off with Shadows. It's Pincerator. It's an Artifact, Amber Navy Plant, Capture Pip, and a Damage Pip. Do not tell me this deck also has a huge amount of enhancements. Actually, you know what? Do tell me that. I love seeing them. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to each flank creature. I feel like this always seems to come in Sanctum, at least on this channel. Finch Cloak with a Capture Pip for Power Fight to Reap. If you have less Amber than your opponent, steal one. Otherwise, each player gains an Amber. Old Bruno, three power elusive, play capture three amber. Booby trap, amber heavy play it, deal four damage to a creature that is not on a flank with a two damage splash. Bone rot, venom, it's an upgrade, amber heavy play it. After this creature is used, deal two damage to it. Tempting offer, amber heavy play it, and enhance the capture pip. Return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. If you do, your opponent gains an amber. Just realize some of these cards we've already seen. Maybe I won't read them. I'll just say their names. Subtle auto, one power, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Opportunist, it's an upgrade. Amber, if you play it, this creature gains elusive. Whenever you play it, this creature captures one amber from its opponent. Nexus, three power elusive. Reap, use an enemy artifact as if it were yours. Mutant, cut purse. Not as good as the splinter, but I guess it's okay to see. Three power, enhanced three damage pips. Gamgee, I cannot recall if we saw him last deck. I feel like we did, but two power elusive. Reap, if your opponent has more amber than you, you get to steal one. Bow, nithing, two power. Play, steal an amber for each forged key your opponent has. Now we're on to, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awesome card to see sanctum by the way orb of wonder it's an artifact omni destroy it if you do search your deck for a card and put it into your hand fantastic shoulder armor it's an upgrade amber never you play it while this creature is on a flank it gets plus two power and plus two armor purify and check it out amber pip two draw pips hmm this allows you to purge a mutant creature that controller discards cards from the top until they discard a non-mutant creature or run out of cards then that non-mutant creature will come into play equalize amber and heavy plate redistribute the amber on friendly creatures among friendly creatures redistribute the amber on enemy creatures among enemy creatures bring low with an amber pip and two capture pips oh my gosh that has to be the worst enhancement of all time. Okay, okay, so we've seen maybe worse thanks to Everance of Principle, but oh my gosh, listen to this card. Enhance the capture pip, capture all but five of your opponent's amber, distribute it among any number of friendly creatures. Now, if you could choose how you want to resolve these, like if you want to do the pips after you can play that, well, this would be pretty relevant, but no, you cannot. You're going to capture two first, then do this effect, so no matter what, you're leaving your opponent with five. That's a shame. Barrister Joya, five power, one armor, enemy creatures cannot reap. The Grey Rider, two power deploy, play fight reap, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Squire Alice, damage pip and draw pip. Two power, two armor, play capture two amber. Another Squire Alice, no pips. General Zavador, four power, two armor, enhanced two capture pips. Another General Zavador, this one with a damage pip, almost hard to see it there. Cleansing Wave, oh, Cleansing Wave with some damage pips and Sanctum, I like that quite a bit. Heal one damage from each creature, gain one amber for each creature healed this way. Can basically turn those damage pips into amber pips. Logos, this is a fun card. We haven't seen it since the Coda days. Reverse time, Amber never you play it. Swap your deck and discard pile, then shuffle your deck. Li oh, library card. Oh my gosh, it's like library access and reverse time. That used to be pretty sweet together. Check this out. 
It's an artifact with a draw pip. Purge library card if you do. For the remainder of the turn, after you play a card, draw a card. Group Think Tank for power, three armor. Action, deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. Bouncing Death Quark, destroy an enemy creature and a friendly creature. You may repeat this effect as many times as you like, as long as it's possible to repeat the entire effect. Another Bouncing Death Quark. Titan Engineer, six power while it is not on a flank. Keys cost plus one amber. Oh, another Titan Engineer. Oop, try and get off there. Infomorph, see where those draw pips came from. Capture pip on it and it's four power. Oh, another Infomorph. Eclectic Inquiry, Amber and have you play it. Archive the top two cards of your deck. Diametric Charge, Amber and have you play it. Deal one damage to a creature with a two damage splash. And the final card of the deck is a daughter with the capture pip. Two power, elusive. During your draw card step, we flare your hand to one additional card. Very, very nice. Well, congratulations, you two. And once again, I just want to say thank you to every patron. You all rock. All right, as always, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys next time.